marketers are now realizing the power of mobile just because of its ubiquity. Everybody has one, it's on all the time, it's the device that they won't live without. So the power of the mobile phone or the mobile device as a marketing or an advertising tool is like no other that has ever been invented. It has the largest reach of any marketing and advertising medium out there. There's over 280 million subscribers in the U.S. alone that have mobile phones. That's more than computers and televisions combined. So marketers and advertisers are now starting to understand the power of mobile. So many of them are looking to see how they can add mobile to their market. So you'll see many marketers and advertisers now starting to add short codes to their programs, uh, starting to develop mobile websites to be able to be viewed on a mobile device. Many companies are actually now creating their regular mo uh, sites to be mobile ready, so it doesn't matter which one you're going to go to, their websites are ready, already mobile. Um, and with the uh, proliferation now of smartphones, um, there's more and more access to the mobile internet. Uh, and in many cases, uh, especially in third world nations, um, the mobile phone is their only access to the internet. So marketers are understanding the power of this device and are starting to add it to their mix but many of them don't understand that it is just another touch point it's another place to use as a call to action you can't just do mobile advertising and marketing on its own it has to be part of your overall strategy how does mobile fit into what you're already doing how do you add a common short code to all the pieces that you're doing, to your television commercial, to your radio spots, to your print advertising? How do you add a 2D barcode to uh, the print advertising that you're already down, doing out there, your outdoor advertising, et cetera? So uh, in many cases, people might have a bad experience because they're trying to have mobile be its own separate entity to where it needs to actually be integrated with, with what you're already doing. Some of the best ways um, to be able to use mobile to help drive uh, uh, subscribers to, to use your services, etc. I mean, ultimately, it's all about you want to get somebody to buy something. Um, so, creating your calls to action to where people will be able to get the content that they want when they want it uh, is the best way to be able to utilize mobile. I mean. The ability to be able to take out your mobile phone at any time and be able to respond to a call to action makes it a lot easier than a lot of other uh, uh, mediums that are out there um, because it's with them and it's on all the time. They can take immediate action when they see something. Um, also, too, the ability to be able to do opt-in type programs through the mobile phone, either through a common short code to where you can opt in to receive content or you can be taken to a mobile web page either through uh, typing the URL and or scanning a barcode. Um, but you're able to start a two-way interaction uh, with that consumer or with that customer. So being able to um, add those elements to what you're already doing kind of makes a lot of what I would call non-active advertising now interactive. For example, being able to put a barcode on a print advertising now makes that print advertisement interactive to where somebody can interact with that advertisement and interact with the brand rather than just seeing uh, you know, the information on the page. I think probably the biggest change that you're going to see over the next year to two years is more smartphones in the marketplace. Um, it is predicted that by the end of 2011, 50% of the phones in market will be smartphones. So more and more people will have access to the mobile internet through their mobile device. To where right now, many of those folks um, do not have access to the internet because they have a feature phone that might not have uh, either an internet plan or just doesn't have a really good interface to be able to get to the internet might be able to get to it, but it's a little clunky, it's a little kludgy, to 
to where uh, you know smartphones today like the iPhone and the Droid and the Blackberry allow for a better user experience to be able to view the internet on a smaller screen. Um, I think that's probably going to be the biggest biggest change that we're going to see coming down the pipe.